It's been just three weeks, just three weeks since we lost Her Majesty the Queen. As we face new challenges without her, we would do well to keep her in our thoughts. History, after all, is experience. Remember that she became our queen just seven years after the bloodiest conflict humanity had ever seen. We were a nation facing debt, hardship, rationing, and the daunting task of modernizing in the twilight of empire. It was said of the king's death that Britain had lost its balance wheel, that part of a watch which moves the hands forward, which keeps the beat, which keeps things steady. The world witnessed a young woman, pale with grief, pledge her whole life to our nation's service. Doubt and despair gave way to hope. Her pledge turned out to be a shining gift to the world. She saw us through change and challenge, constitutional crisis, conflict, COVID. And every time we battled, we had Her Majesty alongside us, advising us, guiding us, unifying us all, and reminding us of the challenges we'd face together in her long life, many much greater than we face now. Her gift was calmness, confidence, courage. She enabled us to stay the course. And she gave us a common bond and a common goal between us all, between nations, beyond politics, for prosperity, for security, for unity, for a united kingdom. No words of mine can do justice to the depth of her devotion to us. She sacrificed her time, her freedom, her private life, and her passing was felt deeply in every place on earth because it reminded us of our own grief for loved ones we'd lost, because she had shared her family with us. You see, crowns are not made of precious metals and jewels alone. They are mostly made of duty and love. So when she died, we carried her on a river of love, from Balmoral to her final resting place at Windsor. Its tributaries weren't just pageantry, they were personal. There were the guards of honor from tractor drivers and horse riders. There were the crayoned drawings attached to railings and carpets of flowers and an enormous amount of cling wrapped marmalade sandwiches. <laughs> and prayers and thanks from every faith and the ceremony of her church, the state, and her armed forces, vigils and silences in the fading autumn light. Everyone played their part. Everyone worked together. That unity and pride and dignity are things that we will remember for the rest of our lives. It made us proud of our queen and our country. Her final gift was to show us the truth about her remarkable reign. The revelation was in her meticulously planned final appearance. You see, our late monarch did not stamp her personality on the nation. 
She was the one shaped by us, by all of us, her people. The stoic, dignified, kind, patient, dutiful, cue-loving British people. That's why she was the best of us. As we mourned, we leaned on our constitution, on our traditions, and on our planning. We saw the pride, the people, causes, and organizations she cherished, and that this nation was the cradle for, many of which were represented in her funeral procession. And we saw the values that bind us because they were embodied in her. And we calmly got on with it, cheerfully facing change and challenge. And we coped really well. An entirely new government was formed. Strike action of both the rail dispute variety and the football variety was cancelled. Supply of arms and support for Ukraine never faltered. We kept calm and we carried on because that is what great people and great nations do. We're not measured in triumph. We are measured in challenge. And in that final journey, she brought us together again. She made us realize that duty and sacrifice and tolerance and above all love are everything to the British way of life. But most of all, we were filled with good wishes for our new king. He bears the same cross that she did, that all do, that wear the crown. He will be our new balance wheel. He will be by our side in the new challenges that we face. We will face them together. We should not and we will not be daunted by them. We will remember our duty. We will continue to move things forward, to keep things steady, not to miss a beat, and to bring hope. Do not forget what she taught us. Do not forget what we must do. Do not forget who we are. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart.